It's now 19 minutes to nine. If the Duchess of Sussex's legal action against the Mail on Sunday gets to court, could her estranged father end up giving evidence against her? That is the prospect raised by the paper's published defence to the proceedings. Kelvin McKenzie, former editor of The Sun, is on the line, as is Mark Stevens, uh, the media lawyer. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Morning. Uh, Mark Stevens, at the core of this is her letter to her father. Does the law allow that to be published, a private letter? No, it doesn't. And uh, as a consequence of that, she will undoubtedly win the legal case. The problem, of course, is that this is a much broader uh, war, if you will. She will win that tiny little legal battle. But the wider issue about, you know, how she will be covered, how the Sussexes will be covered, they will comprehensively lose. But before we get to those wider issues, does that point about the law not allowing the letter to be published hold, even though, as the main on Sunday says she breached her own copyright by allowing details of the spat with her father, allowing her friends to, uh, to brief other publications about that. Well, the point about copyright is it gives control to the person who uh, has the copyright, in this case, uh, Megan, uh, Megan, and in those circumstances, she can allow people to use the copyright or not use the copyright. My understanding is that actually the copyright wasn't used, so the actual words weren't used, but briefings along the same lines as the letter were were used to perhaps portray uh, Megan in a more positive light. But certainly from a copyright perspective, she owns the copyright, she can allow or disallow people to use it. What can't happen is that Thomas Markle can't unilaterally decide, nor indeed uh, the Mail on Sunday, unilaterally decide that they want to publish this material. One would think back perhaps to the diary extracts which Prince Charles circulated uh, to 15 of his closest friends. They came into the possession of the Mail on Sunday. That case was lost in the uh, Court of Appeal because uh, there was an infringement of Prince Charles's copyright. Mm. And this case is on all fours with that. OK, let me turn then to Kelvin McKenzie. The law is one thing, but the prospect of, of an actual court case is quite another. Oh, it would be an absolute nightmare. It would be a nightmare for Meghan Markle and, uh, and for Prince Harry. And uh, once I get into the witness box... As every lawyer listening to your uh, show today will know, um, these questions and their answers begin to take very curious turns. And the other aspect where I don't really agree with Mark so much on this, I'm not so sure it is absolutely straightforward. Uh, Meghan Markle has been manipulating correctly in her own view. Uh, to rebut various things that are said about her, as has Prince Harry. And I think the Mail on Sunday has every right to be able to defend themselves by saying that she gave one image of a loving uh, letter to her father. And her father is saying, actually, that's completely untrue. She cut me off at the knees and has, uh, has some text that can prove it. This will be a shocker, a shocker for uh, Meghan and Harry, and I would urge them simply to drop the case, pay the legal costs through the mail on Sunday, and get on with their rather interesting lives on the west coast of America. Mark Stevens? There's another point here, which is that, you know, we remember that uh, Diana um, wanted to bring proceedings for um, uh, photographs of her on gym equipment. Um, and at the last moment, the royal family were just too scared of her having to go up against a very skilled forensic cross-examiner in Geoffrey Robertson QC and drop the case. So I think that uh, the point that uh, Kelvin raises there in the sense that, you know, uh, if you had to pit uh, Megan against a, a top line QC who would forensically dissect what they've been doing, whether she wins or, or loses. And of course, I think she's going to win. But if she wins, she's going to pay an enormous price. The lumps that will be taken out of her in the courtroom. The question is, is that worth it? Is that worth the win? Uh, Kelvin McKenzie, if you were working for the Mail on Sunday today, would you be wanting to see this right through to the bitter end to see them in court? Or would you be trying to do, I mean, I don't know whether perhaps things are too frayed for that, but to do some kind of deal that perhaps involves an interview? If I was the editor of the Mail on Sunday, I would be absolutely delighted at, what is, at the way the life has turned out. When you start these libel actions, you can never be sure 
how they're going to end, or they're not live actions, but any kind of high court action. And if I were the editor of the Mail on Sunday, I'd be sitting there rubbing my hands saying, I cannot wait for this to be played out. Uh, it, it was an ill-judged, ill-judged action in the first place. And in the light of everything that's happened to Meghan and Harry since, and, and they've conducted it, in, to my mind, really poorly, uh, it becomes worse by the day. The idea that Meghan Markle will be out of the country, uh, as I suspect, for the next, you know, nine months or so, and then she flies in for a high-profile, high-court case to be taken apart limb by limb by some rather nasty QC is a prospect I do not believe that she fancies. They will settle at 100 miles an hour. Kelvin McKenzie, Mark Stevens, thank you both. Time is now 13 minutes to nine.